Welcome to another episode of Be The Change Conversations with Business Matters Magazine. Today we welcome Ted O'Brien. Ted O'Brien has initiated an amazing innovation here on the Sunshine Coast called Generation Innovation. Welcome, Ted. Hello there, Vicky. Thanks, Ted, for talking to us today. Pleasure. Our first question is um, if you could please tell us a little bit about Innovation Generation. Well, Generation Innovation is it's a new not-for-profit here on the sunny coast and it's all about unleashing the innovation of young people. And so what we're doing is we're running firstly something we're calling the GI Challenge, the Generation Innovation Challenge. And that's a challenge for 15 to 25 year olds who want to try their hand at, at starting their own business. And what we're doing is we're treating it as a real competition where people of that age group put their hand up and they say, yep, I'm prepared to give this a crack to start my own business. And what we do is we respect the fact that young people, like anyone, the young people have fantastic ideas. But typically what they don't have is they don't have experience, they don't have the network, and they often don't have the money to get going. So we wrap around these young participants, mentors, training, experience, and then eventually seed funding. And that seed funding actually comes from the business community. Because unlike a lot of other programs that might be around that deal with issues facing young people, this is not government related, uh, it's not from big business, this is a, a grassroots community initiative on the coast. And so what we're doing is we're asking business people, community leaders across the Sunshine Coast to give $50 each. And that effectively funds the ventures that come from the GI Challenge. And so these young participants not only can unleash their ideas by having a commercial structure and training wrapped around them, but they can actually get off the ground with a bit of money behind them. And that's really the, the GI challenge and that's what we're on about with Generation Innovation. So Ted, how do you think you, or it, is being the change for this problem? I think being the change through Generation Innovation is about dealing with challenges facing young people, especially unemployment, in a different way. And so with this initiative, we are looking at entrepreneurship as part of the solution to youth unemployment. And as, as you know, uh, youth unemployment on the Sunshine Coast is almost horrific, and it has been for years. And so we have one of the highest unemployment rates in the country. One of the highest unemployment rates in the country. Now, we can't just rely on government to solve the problem. We can't just rely on a hope that a big infrastructure job's going to be done and, and stimulate job creation, or big businesses are going to come here. We should campaign for all of those things, but we can't rely on it. What we need to do is find new, creative and innovative ways. We've been overly reliant on government and the marketplace for too long. So what we're needing is the community sector. What we're needing is everyday people, just like, just like I am, just like you are, uh, to do their bit, to solve a social problem like youth unemployment. And not to do it in a sad way, not to do it in a depressing way, but have a bit of fun with it. To do it in a positive and encouraging way, and that's why the GI Challenge aims to achieve that end objective. Cool. So tell us how you personally got involved with this. Gee, well, being a local along the coast, I think we all know the challenges facing young people. And I think as time has gone on, especially the last few years, it was, it's become more and more apparent to me that we collectively as a community need to do something about it. And my background being business, um, I suppose it just naturally evolved. It wasn't a light bulb moment or anything like that in terms of shaping up this, this idea, but rather a, a determination that we need collectively as a group of people on the coast to try to do something. And so the idea started to sh take shape about a year ago. And for me, it was more a matter of how do we get young people incentivized to unleash what they're good at. And every young person has passion, but they also have capabilities. 
and you almost need to find that sweet spot. And this is what I was trying to shape up through Generation Innovation. The sweet spot between where somebody's passion overlaps with somebody's capabilities and then overlaps with demand from the marketplace. And as I kept thinking about that, I kept going back to what young people need to get going in this regard. How can we provide network, experience and money? And it was a simple matter of, well, let's put all those things together and do it in an alternative, different way. So Ted, a lot of people will recognise you, especially over from the last 12 months. But can you share a little bit um, about yourself, about you? Probably from a personal perspective, uh, first and foremost, I'm, I'm a husband and I'm a dad. And, um, and I'm from a, a big family myself. I was one of nine kids and the youngest of a big family. It's probably maybe not a bad way to describe my background more than anything because to me, while family means a lot, I've been fortunate in that I've had that support from old siblings, from mum and dad over the years and now with my wife, that not everyone has. And yet everybody has that genius, you know? Everybody has that opportunity and the ideas to get going, uh, which is why for me, um, having the benefit of that has triggered me to try to do something about this issue. And so my background's business, uh, 20 years commercially, mainly in blue chip companies uh, internationally throughout Asia, as well as here on the sunny coast. Um, very active in the, in the community sector, uh, in particular having worked with uh, in, uh, various groups, whether it be St Vinnie's, Roses on the Street, um, Rodham McDonald House Charities, etc. for many years. And so I've always had an ongoing passion for issues facing young people. Cool. In just one sentence, what's your why for this initiative? Because I can. <laughs> that's one word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's a full sentence. But yeah, because I can. I just think um, if, it, if I genuinely am asking younger people to have a go at something, then surely I need to take that advice for myself. And the only thing that would stop somebody having a go at an idea like Generation Innovation is, is fear of failure. And, uh, and you can't fear failure. You've got to give things a go. So um, I can do this and therefore I want it. How can our readers become involved? Boy, where do you start? Uh, first and foremost, your readers can get excited and, and get engaged and they can follow it. They can also, if they have the capacity, they can donate $50. Every dollar that is donated by people in the community here on the coast goes towards the ventures. And if everybody could donate $50, then we've got things covered. Beyond that, if they know someone within 15 and 25 year old bracket who could really do with cracking, you know, cutting a break here, then also they can let us know. And they can do both those things, identifying entrepreneurs and making a donation through our website, which is to plug it, if that's okay, www.generationinnovation.com.au. Thank you so much for being our Be The Change conversation for today. And thanks for the opportunity.